welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. It's the end of March and it's time for me to share with you my thrifted finds. It's going to be kind of short and sweet this month. I really didn't go but twice and one of the trips was to the regular store that's totally overpriced and the rest of this stuff you see here is from the outlet bins. The one thing I picked up at the regular store was this really cute beehive dish towel. It's from Costco and if you know Costco products you know that they are high quality and just thought this would be so cute to decorate with for spring and summer. I love anything with a honeybee on it. The rest of the stuff is pretty much 50 cents each. It's definitely yard sale prices in those Goodwill bins. I've said before it's on the other side of town for me and it's really hard for me to get over there but I did go once this month. I picked up three of these Walmart plastic spring tablecloths. They'll be great for Easter dinner with the family. Some of these little odds and ends, just this little plastic butterfly to craft with. I can spray paint it and put it on a little spring project. This was just something that I think originally from Dollar Tree, you can get a whole pack of them, but I just needed one of these for spots of paint instead of having to throw away a paper plate every time. A brand new white out marker thing and then a almost brand new roll of orange burlap ribbon that was originally from Hobby Lobby and then one of my favorite brands of candle I've mentioned this many times when I find them a Romanique you can find them at Dillard's and a lot of boutiques they're made in Arkansas and they are known for the smell of Christmas and the smell of spring and that's what this one is it's it's been lit but it still has lots of life left this is normally about an eight dollar candle and I got it for 99 cents I thought it was still worth a dollar, even already used. Picked up a brand new Disney visor with a tag on it. This was originally like $16.95. We don't have any Disney trip planned anytime soon, but I know I'll be there in the future and it'll be fun to have this. Thought this was kind of neat. This is a sharper image, little mini chopper. My string chopper just recently broke and I've shared that before on this channel. I love those string choppers, but this will make do until I find another one. This is almost like the my Pampered Chef chopper that you put the food underneath and then you just push down and it chops and mints really, really good. So looking forward to trying out the sharper image. I don't think they make this anymore, but it'll be neat, something to have. This was something from the Dollar Tree, but I got it for less than 50 cents for my granddaughter. It's where you take the lid off and the little paper inside, and you can use that as a template, and I can cut her a piece of paper, and she can design her daddy a travel coffee mug for Father's Day. I thought that would be something fun she could do on an afternoon she's here. This is just a nice business card organizer, and I'm actually going to use it to store my mini stamps little silicone stamps that I can just flip through and see what I have. You know, you have so many, you don't even know what you have unless you can organize them in some way to see them. I have them in little plastic sheets, but I really like this method, and I have a couple little photo albums of that's how I do it. Even some little paper cutouts and embellishments and things I can stick in these little pockets. They work perfect. Now this right here was just a bag of probably made those corn husk dolls and I thought it would be since it was a brand new pack and had a bunch I'm gonna make some kind of fun fall wreath with those and that'll just be perfect for a fall wreath and who knows I may even use this embroidery hoop to, to make it. You either find these all the time or you never can find them and my stash was pretty low on these embroidery hoops. You can cr do all kinds of wreath bases and crafts with this so I just picked it up. I'm sure it was less than 50 cents. And you can't have too many of these. They break when you least expect it. Just a brand new sprayer for my garden hose. And nope. over here what I found was from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $5, which was still a great buy. One of these craft kits, bunny mask kits. Someone had wrote a note on here that they had used eight of them, but there were 16 left. And it was from 2019, so they probably are carrying this again. My granddaughter is invited to a fun little Easter egg hunt this weekend, and there's 16 left, and you just tie the little elastic on there and all kinds of fun little stickers to go on the mask or you can just leave it as is. I thought that would be fun for the little ones to wear, tear up, whatever they're going to do with it. Couldn't beat that for 50 cents. And last but not least was my prize item for the month. 
If I would have found these in the store, they would have probably been $15 or $20, no joke. But I got them in the bin store. This is one of those things where I don't know why this would not have been in the regular store. I got, according to my receipt, I paid $4.95. I think they'll look great in my dining room. My curtain rod is black and my light fixture is black. I'm gonna hang one up on the wall and show you what I have in mind. So I have it hanging up here on the wall and I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up two of these little round centerpiece vases or votive cups or whatever you want to call them. And I thought they would just fit perfect in that little rounded top up there. And then I have a little flame-like votive candle up there. I think they'll look really pretty on each side of my fireplace. So there you go, friends. Those are my March thrifted finds. I'm really trying to stick to my rule of really needing it or it's nothing like I have. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in a couple days with a cute spring wall decor using something very unconventional. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.